the second evacuation flight carrying UK nationals from Sudan has arrived in Cyprus as many countries continue to move out their citizens from the war-torn African country. The passengers, as well as 39 others from an earlier rescue flight on Tuesday, are expected to be given the opportunity to fly to the UK from Lanaka Airport later. Speaking on the evacuation exercise, the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said the flight took everybody that was there at the airfield and could be processed. He added that many more flights would be able to evacuate several hundred of people if they can make their way to the airfield. The Prime Minister said he could not guarantee the long-term safety of the air route being used given the volatility of the ceasefire. Fighting returned in some cities despite the agreed ceasefire by the warring parties as brokered by Saudi Arabia and the United States. Reports suggested fighting continued outside the capital in Khartoum and Omdurman, Jenina, West Darfur, while inside Khartoum, the RSF accused the army of attacking their headquarters. Reports of 13 and 14 year olds holding weapons on the street for the rival paramilitary RSF are just one of many obstacles to evacuation missions, an expert told Sky News. No fewer than 459 people have died in the latest conflict so far, though the actual number is thought to be much higher. Kamat Sadiq, reporting for CBA TV.